Welcome back to Timberborn. My name is Neil Arts and we are here in update four and we're going to continue working on some of the uh, some of the things in update four. We're going to be looking more on districts and part of the districts is also how to do logistics. But I want to do a dedicated video on how to do logistics with the new uh, district setup because it's weird. It has a lot more potential, but it also has a lot more potential to go wrong. So that's going to be in a future episode if you're interested in more of a tutorial like what we're going to do today is a starting two big projects and that's also how I always want to do it. We want to want, always want to do two projects. I want to encapsulate this part. If we look at this, this is one, two, three. Okay. That's easier to, if I could do like this, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, hmm, eight ish wide. And I need four to have these two wheels next to each other. And then I need one to sort of mount it on. And then I need one for sort of the gears and also staircase. So I need eight wide. That's kind of almost what I have. I'm going to be taking something out in order to sort of be able to terraform. The first thing we want to do is we want to make a little build for uh, getting started on the paper mill there. And also over here, we have a, an explosive factory. I don't like an, the idea of having an explosive factory. Like it, it does the factory explode because that doesn't seem great. Uh, we're going to build that here and then we're going to try to figure out how we can can build the wooden uh, this one here uh, what if i build it kind of like that i can also build it here i'd love to build it like this uh, that's actually how i want to build it obviously but it's going to have a little bit of difficulty with getting power in because i can't really get it in here i could sort of bring it around and then drag it down. That's actually maybe like the best idea we have here for putting this in that one. And then it just needs one here. This one needs to be nuked, but I can't nuke that before I actually can get up there and replace it. There we go. And then I'm going to walk a path over on this side just so that we're sure that we are close enough. And that will be... Oh, that's the mistake. Here, 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 and at that intersection. But this one is actually easy to replace, so I can do that. Right now, I can replace it from below ground. There we go. All right, so now we have this one built. It's going to take a little while to get started. If we look at, uh, we only have one district, so this is all we have. I think we want to scale up since we want a new district. We also want to scale up with more uh, population. So let's uh, get more population in here. What about we just do like that that seems to increase a lot good and these will all have uh, yeah different setups good so that's uh, one thing now let's get over to this one this is going to be the biggest part and we're going to be doing four wheels here uh, top one will be um, yeah where will the top one be i don't know but i know that the lowest one will be actually placed right smack dab on this location so i also need to take some of this down now we are in um, Look at that. I just... Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have killed that one. That could actually have been useful for a while. Ah, well, that's that's typical me, isn't it? There we go. I'll build this one again and pretend nothing happened. But I'm going to take this out. This this little thing here can be fu fueled by this part. Almost, kind of, maybe. And then we can start working on uh, some of the other stuff here. Like these things. I'll just take this out. There. And I'm going to get the build the wall here. That would be the wall and that needs to be this is where we need a lot of things so that my friends will be exactly where i need to build the first part and i'm going to try and show you how it's going to work and this lido is also kind of not long for this world and um, but we'll keep it a little bit because it's okay and i'm going to keep this up so basically now i want to show you how to build and then we'll try to figure out how to build it so if there is a wheel on top of this, then it's going to be reaching two to the side, and then I'm going to have one. Um, then it's going to be... And we'll afterwards figure out how to build it. So this will be where the next wheel will be placed. One, two. And then that's five wide. That will be the next wheel. And then going in here, that's five. And that will be the last wheel. So can we build it here? Uh, not quite. Does it make sense? Yeah, it kind of does make sense. 
And then we're going to have to build it, sort of capture that area so the water flows this way around. Probably blow up a little bit here because we want to make sure that the flow is enough to go around and then feed all these. So that gets us sort of an idea about how big it's going to be. Then I'm going to just cut out these corners just because it'll look a little bit better. I don't know if it does, but it uh, it hopefully does. So that's the... Honestly, that's the easy part. <laughs> that sucks, but uh, that's the easy part. I am going to capture... I'm going to remove this. This kind of uh, an awful place. So I will move it over to get the power. Get the power moved there. Nope, not that one. And that will be... Get a power line. Oh, right. Oh, that's down there. Okay, never mind. I actually thought that was... Okay. So, let's try. That will be now going up. Then it will be going on a two high here. Um, then it will go one over and then it will go down again. Go down and go in there and in there and then that one. Okay, so I'm going to get this built. Let's get this a little bit higher because then we can actually start working on it. Then we can replace once this is done. Uh, we are almost done with the drought now, I'm going to take priority wise, I'm going to take the priority for this stuff down here and then do that. Just do that as the first thing. Um, we also want to make sure that our priority is coming in for these first. There. And also the one below. That one. So that needs to go in because I need to start making some storage of this. And that also, speaking of storage, I'm going to get some storage here. Uh, that's going to be... I suppose that one and that one, and that should be actually pretty easy to get into in here. And again, we're we're wasting a lot of wood on this, but that's kind of irrelevant. There we go. I'll have the lower one being the explosives. They are here, and I'm gonna have the top one being paper. Paper can also be used to make books, but yeah, we, we we're not really into books right now. There, that's also going to go up first. And then we are actually just going to have to let it uh, let it flow for a little bit. This one is working. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Taking that one out. That was not on purpose. Actually, I could have left the other one in. Damn, I'm such an idiot. Well, uh, it, uh, it it is what it is. I'm going to need to nuke this out. And then I'm going to have to figure out a way to get all the other things in. Uh, we can start these two. And then we can work on. While that's going on, we are going to look at a district. Now, in order to make a new district, I'll spend less time on this. We'll have to research the district crossing. So that's thing. Uh, this will be put in here. This is kind of a new way of doing it so that we can uh, we can have we'll go into this um, a little bit more in the future. But I don't want to build it. So the district crossing works in a way that it separates two different areas. And I'm going to be having an area down here. It's going to be focused on farming. And the first thing we want to do is we want to actually if we build a district, it won't be allowed because it's connected to another district with a continuous road network without a district crossing in between. It's a really clever way of doing it. So I'm going to start making some storage in here to um, to sort of be able to get all the stuff we want. And that's going to be right here. That seems like a really nice location to get some storage going. Uh, then I would say, what would we do otherwise? We would um, get some of this storage, I guess, here. Yeah. And then I would say we need a hauling post for sure. Because that's always necessary with these kind of things. Uh, let's make it like this. And then we need some housing. Yeah, sure. Uh, what could we do in terms of housing? Uh, we'd really like these row houses. These row houses are really good. Uh, let's unlock those. Even though it costs a lot of money here. That might actually have been a mistake. Uh, because it's a little bit higher than the other ones. The barracks. This barracks is... Barracks might actually be just fine for this. I think we'll need around 30 people in here. So it's not going to be overly much there. And then build that. Sure. That should be fine. And I kind of wanted a little bit more space here. Uh, let's get some water storage as well. Because that's also kind of important. Let's build that here. Why not? And I guess the housing... Could probably be built here instead. There we go. 
So all of this can now be built because it conceives it, or it, it perceives that being the same location and it's pretty close to here. So it also just starts building it. Unfortunately, we now have two different locations that are competing for more build. We're going to get the power down here because that's actually a super important thing. Oh, why are we not? We have zero power. I am just such an idiot when I del deleted this. Uh, yeah, we did have uh, not enough power. I'm going to have to uh, to to redo this one as well and then get that other power in. That's just uh, something that will take a little bit of my time. Don't you worry about it. Uh, that and that will also be done. Come on, get that done. All right, so power is restored. We have built, rebuilt these large water wheels. Only a slight lack of uh, power from this. We've got our first explosive factory going. Well, our only explosive factory at this moment. And we should now get a little bit of explosives in here. Of course, it needs to get paper mill. If you look at the paper mill, it makes every 1.6 hours, it makes two. So it's making a little more than one per hour. And this one is consuming three every three hours. So it consumes one every uh, every hour. So one paper mill can support one explosive factory just fine with a little bit of surplus. Then uh, we are going to continue from our location previously here. This is going into our new location here. This is also just yet another thing to be built uh, on top of the myriad of other things. Uh, we are going to get power into our new location down here. That I think is super good because I also want to now make some uh, the one the stuff we want to use our metal blocks for. What? Why did I use the metal blocks for? Shoot, what have I just spent metal blocks on? Huh. Oh, this one. Right. I guess that requires metal blocks. Yeah, that would make sense, right? Uh, yeah, 30. Okay, so that's why we don't have any here. Uh, I need this one to operate. Why are you not operating? Mm, okay, it's nighttime. That's kind of okay. But this is uh, this needs to keep going. Unfortunately, we don't have enough power for fueling all of it. And that's kind of what we're working on, like the big project for today. Uh, but they are also now starting to work on this part. And uh, I will have one, two, three, four of those locations. They will all be storing food and, uh, well, other things that we need. Uh, so that's still going to be like the main storage here. And then we'll get all this built as well. So we're progressing a little bit further down here. I am... Um, just decided to move this here because I kind of need that corner for something else. Uh, so we are almost ready to actually make this into a, uh, a dedicated uh, district. But I do want to build like this floor here. But let's flip back to the other design here. Now that I have the connection over on this side, I can actually disconnect it here. Because this is very much in the way of what I want to build now. Lots of building materials right there. So we are now going to imagine a world where on top of that, there will be a wheel. And that means, of course, this has to be blown out. I do have 16 explosives already, so that's very nice. I could actually start using those right now just to for illustrative purposes here. Uh, unlock that. Oh, yeah, sure. I need to unlock that. There are these two. And... Mm, yeah, the, I'm sorry, Lido. You are, you're just not long for this world. You had to go. It had to be done. There. And I will blow some more stuff up. I'm going to blow everything up except that particular one, which we kind of need right now. Um, and then I will also... This part also needs to be blown up. There. So all of this needs to be blown up. This just needs to be deleted. And then we can start working on the actual uh, structure. This structure will serve two purposes. It'll serve the purpose of building both... Uh, let's see, one, two, here. Uh, okay, so the purpose is you're going to connect to that one. And then it's going to go over here. Then it's going to go up. And that means underneath, I'm also going to need to build a staircase up as well. So it's going to be like a little bit of a tricky thing here. That. So that tricky here. That goes up. And then it goes, continues to go up like that so i have a staircase more and over on this side i go one more up and then this will be the one where it actually has a uh, another connection there 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 that will go three we'll go four actually uh, and then that, oh no 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 i'll go one two three and then that should be the next location up it'll be three and then two steps up that should be how it works one two three and then i'll be building 
One, two, three. Uh, no, not, not that one. Does seem a little bit wrong, doesn't it? Uh, no, we'll, we'll keep it like this. We'll keep it like this. I think that's uh, that's going to be fine because then it'll follow the outer lane of this. It also helps with by having this grid that will will support the building process. I do know that I won't be able to build the actual um, water wheel inside here just yet. That will also take a little bit of another big challenge. Damn, we also need to build it from the other side. This is so uh, challenging, I guess. Because even though I need to blow up all of... Actually, I don't think I need to blow up all of this. Not you. And not you, to, to be honest. Because this part... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It actually is the kind of the other way around. This has to be filled in. There. Now, here's the problem. As I fill this in, they're going to start overflowing in out into that location. And that sucks. So I also have to build from the other side as well. Um... I'm, I think I have to build it from the inside as well. I'll build it once inside and once outside. Okay, I'll, I'll do this. I'll continue on this uh, path journey here and uh, see if we can get something working. It's a little bit advanced. I like that. We like things that are a little bit too advanced to for our own goods there. And now we've built up again. And then it gets really complicated because now we're inside this space that doesn't exist really. Uh, there is clearly a problem with getting up there. So maybe we'll have to make something temporary. Uh, yes, definitely have to make something temporary. Because if I do this, it won't be high enough to get up there. So I'm going to have to build something even more temporary. Let's go a little bit further back here. Wow. All right, temporary builds. Love them. Nope. There, there, and there to build the temporary up here. As far as I can tell. Because that's now... I don't need to build this. But I do need to be able to place an explosive charge on here, which is going to be the highest priority. Right, so... This is kind of okay, I guess. We'll, uh, we'll build this and then we can continue on the actual real construction once that gets done. So this is finally getting done. We can actually explode this. That's great. And then we, quest we have to go back and figure out what the hell did we actually build here. Because this was a temporary thing and it has to be done extremely carefully. Otherwise uh, bad stuff happens. So this has to be... One, two, three. And then I have to go a line up on this one. And a line up on this one. Yes. Okay. So that's going to be one, two, and build the top here. Yes. And then we get into the trouble of what the hell is going on in here. I uh, actually need to build another one up there. Oops. I should probably have done that. I wonder if I can build that up here. Probably can't. Not until I get this done uh, anyway. So let's try getting this one, this thing done here. And then see if we can we can still squeeze it up here through. I think that might be possible. And it will cause flooding, of course, but that's kind of uh, the, the name of the game. Luckily, we have a drought coming, so that drought is actually coming in real handy. I wanted to blow this up, but if I do, then all the water flows past the wheels, and then I don't have any uh, anything here. One thing that I would really like to build in our new location here, because now that we have uh, the option for it, so again, everything that's... Everything I want to be built before this have to be uh, higher priority. Now, if we go over here and then I unlock this one. This has cost 20 uh, engines and 400 points, so that's not a problem. I can do one, two, three of these. Oh, yes. I so want that. Now, then we can. We still have, we have to build a lot of other stuff as well. Um, that one. But it will allow us to connect... The power uh, that will have that's an intersection so it has to be like this then i will yeah um that's an intersection that's an intersection these are, these are intersections as well and then we built the linear ones linear linear and the up and down yes 
That is pretty damn important. How important is it? It's just the most important thing. Uh, more important than anything else, to be honest, unfortunately, because I have to get this done before the... Um, before the drought hits in 0 0.4 days. Yeah, that's not happening. But anyway, I need to get this done because uh, this will help us alleviate some of the, the power here, power issues by uh, by replacing the water wheels that we are gonna be taking out with some uh, engines. We're still not ready to make this into a district because there's also no reason for it. It's still in the green area, so no problem. There we go. We have the first of uh, these engines running. Here's the thing. This has to be like the lowest of lowest priority, but it has to set building by haulers because I never want anyone to go in here. This is uh, ironically, but I don't want anyone to ever operate these because you don't need to. So this will consume. Uh, yeah, it'll consume some logs, but that's kind of necessary because now we have a little bit of spinning. This one is slowly coming in here. It is uh, power input is just not enough. Why is this one stop working? Uh, because it's nighttime. Oh, that's a pretty good idea. Pretty good reason, right? This one, very low priority. And do I have more than... No, I do not have enough more metal blocks, but I need to make the metal blocks with the power coming from here. But now I've produced 800 power. That's actually... I think that's enough to run everything right now. So that's really good. Onwards back to this one. I have now created uh, the full line up here. My idea is that I'll go up here and then I'll be going up. And then from this location, I can also start harvesting some trees because, hey, why not? Why not indeed? We have tons of juicy trees up here. So uh, that will be just build those, farm those, get them, get them all. Uh, that means this one has to be like the highest of high priority. Just so that we have some more wood right up here. That would be really nice. And uh, we're going to need to get like all of this area here. Uh, widened out we have start putting a little bit down here but um, i think the main objective is now to build this wall this wall and uh, all this grid up here because once it's done i can start moving out and sort of hollowing out this area uh, while working towards the next part and as we have the engines we are now also in a position where we can can cut these out if we need to and so the drought ended and we have made some progress but um not enough, not enough, uh, unfortunately. So that's a uh, that's a little bit of a uh, of a challenge, but it's it's fine. It's just water. What's the worst that can happen? And then I'll also be cutting down the trees over on this side. Because why not? There we go. Uh, these trees are going to be a little more annoying to take out because they are kind of lower level. Uh, but I'm going to cut these trees down and then. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what, what's coming in. And now they're actually going to start building on some of these things here. That's interesting. You know, they're just medium priority. Don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. One thing that I'd actually like is, um, even though this one is coming online now, that we can see that we're actually having a ton of, uh, of power, even without this one spinning. So I think I'd actually want to take this out. It's kind of weird that I want to take this out, even though it's, it's working now. But it uh, it will allow the water, since it's kind of fragile when it comes down here, it's it's going to get sort of... Yeah, it's going to get messed up very quickly. Oh, I thought there was a fish. It's no, not a fish. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it'll be it'll be an absolute mess as we build it. But uh, if I can then blow this up, then I could actually make a big uh, water wheel here that could sort of be placed in the original or the intended final position. That would be lovely. And now I just did it. So that's... Uh, that's how it goes. I'm going to get that fully maxed out so I can take out this entire thing. And as soon as we get this, I'll just be blowing it up for everyone's pleasure. There we go. Ready to blow up. Hopefully no one comes in and uh, walks away. There we go. That will now give us a better flow. Okay, that's, that's actually okay, I think. That has to be here. Uh, then we'll get the big water wheel will be placed there that'll be like one of those final locations and we can i actually want mm, i know i can build it because i can stand here and build it up so that should be fine but i don't know if i can stand here and build it that way because that's kind of how i'm gonna have to build it the other locations i i kind of want to just tag these on just to show how awesome it looks i can't do that because someone built a thing in the way here uh these are going to be low priority just to illustrate what it's going to be like you know by the end of the video i hope while we're waiting for that, let's uh, have a look at our 
new district. It is ready to become a district right now. Uh, there's just a few more things to, to build. If we look at our, we only have four things that are not working. The engines are three of them. So we definitely have enough uh, to, to start splitting someone out here. And maybe before we even do that, before we even split it into a different district, I'll be making even more stuff because this is why we're here. We are going to go in here to make it a farmland. So I'm going to get a farmland there and a farmland there that will be taking care of that and that. We're going to go out here and get a forester that will be made as close as it can. Then I'm going to get it into the water. There we go. And then I can start placing what I uh, want to place in all the different locations. So I want to make, first of all, I want to make a mang new mangrove forest. How big do you want to make it? Yes, definitely. Definitely yes. That should be fine, right? Yep, you can easily support this. So that's going to be a mangrove forest. Good. Let's uh, focus on you, mangrove. Thank you. And uh, I'll also be making... I guess I'm... Yeah. All of this. This one is going to be focused on Kazawas. So I'm going to go Kazawa like crazy over here. I wish it displayed how many tiles. Because the thing is, I've done some, some research. And the answer is... 160. So I need 160 cassava fields to keep one uh, fermenter going. And on top of that, for the soybeans, I need 128. Is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that's uh, 72. Uh, that's definitely all of it. There we go. There we go. Mm, this one's bigger. Maybe I should switch them. And then I need a little bit of canola. Not a lot, but we can put that down here. And uh, do we want an extra one? Yeah, I think I might want to just get an extra one in this corner. There. Which will be an extra farmhouse. Farmhouse. There. Good. And this one will be focused on canola, but also working on this. This will be focused on soybeans. It'll be focused on Kasawa. There we go. So we also can build this. Once that's built, we can then build our uh, next part. Uh, do we want some blueberries as well? Are they called blueberries even? Blueberries, yes. We can build blueberries down here. There we go. And then we have a little bit of space uh, here. That will be for our later on for some mushroom farming. Uh, let's actually... Do we just want to unlock the mushrooms right now? Hydroponic gardens. What do they take? They take a little bit of metal... Uh, we do have enough metal, so that's fine. We can just unlock these. One, two, three. That's glorious. We'll have these three here. And recipe, there'll be mushrooms, mushrooms, and mushrooms. There. That will also be uh, pretty good. So now we just need to figure out how to do the actual food processing because we're going to need three fermenters and we're going to need a oil press and that's it. Three fermenters and an oil press. Let's put those in here somehow. And that's going to be my choice for how to build it. One, two, three, four. And those are here. They'll be connecting from up here. And then they'll connect around the edge here. So that uh, should be good. This one will be for fermented cassava. This will be for mushrooms. And this will be for soybeans. There you go. And this one only has one recipe. So that's also good. Power. We're still having 1200. That's excellent. And we've... Hey, we got the wheel. It's not spinning because it's blocked out by that idiot thing. Okay, never mind. That's just how it is. Uh, we're going to let them just keep working on uh, on as much as they can up here. Well, I guess I uh, that was inevitable. They always get stranded. So it's time for me to remove this one. Oh, that didn't make any difference. That did not make any difference. Oh, never mind. All right, I'm going to have to say, Mark, Mark, get out here. And there. So we'll have to save Mark from uh, certain death, from being stranded, from being too useful and too helpful. Well, that's the nature of uh, patrons. Too helpful, too useful. And we can actually delete the rubble if, it, if we never get to that. Uh, in the meantime, nothing much has uh, progressed. We're just cleaning out this part over here. Uh, once I feel I'm done with this, uh, then I think we can... Yeah, we, we actually start need, needing, need to start working on this containment. Let's see. This containment here. And that one and then we can work on the walkway up like we have over here like that will work it also has to be built here 
uh, obviously. But, uh, well, actually, that has to be built, like, immediately, because otherwise I can't get up to that one. So, whew, let me uh, start that mega structure thing. All right, progress is made. We have now built uh, the two here. That means we now have one consistent network, and we can actually pause one of these so they don't actually consume anything. Down here, we can see that we have uh, started working on, well, stuff as we uh, as we would like and uh, we've also built actually started working on the mushroom farming as well so quite slowly but um still we are making uh, making some progress here uh, all this is done all this is done prioritize i definitely only want one here and uh, then we have let's say uh, let's put a few more things here uh, we want to make sure that up here um let's see i want to make some roofs as well i want to make you uh that one and that one sure and then i want to make a roof because the roof is not on fire but it is uh just helping a little bit with a buff and i will also just make a shrubbery because that will be nice i have a little strawberry here we have a lot of other things oh man i can't help myself without getting this i want the ding ding all the time uh that's just going to be sort of like a centrally placed ding ding that'll be right there centrally place that ding ding That'll give us a little ding ding every morning and every evening. That's very nice to sort of beat the ry rhythm. Oh, nothing to do in range. That's perfect. Uh, that's because you have taken that out and you can go on onwards and back to that. Right. So we can now blow this up and we're just slowly making our way to get this. But as you can see, if we, um, if we blow up the next one here, it's going to be bad. So let's make sure that this is still staying on the right uh Oh, this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem right. This seems like it's way too cutting it way too close. It does absolutely look at it way too close. Huh. With these uh, tiles here. That's interesting. I'm kind of feeling that I should build like an extra one out here. There, there. There, there. So that they are... Yeah, that's definitely... Definitely the right thing to do. There, there. These two. It's so hard to see the contours when it's all grey and grey. There, that was important, I think. Yeah. The question is, can it be built? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Prioritize everything here and then uh, just wait a little bit more. So another drought has started. I have uh, also built a little more of uh, water pumps back here. Wow, there... You already got built? That's crazy. Um... All right, well, up here we do have a, a little bit of uh, progress. We can now, it's going to be make it a lot easier because there's no water now. So that makes it easier to see what's going on. Uh, we still have a number of things to keep going here. I think we're going to have three more of this. And now I've, de I've determined that in order for me to build this, uh, I can't build these out here because they kind of just, they can't really be built from outside. So there's going to be some glyphs here. That means I have to go down here and down here. That means everything in this part will now have to be upped to a higher priority. There we go. And that actually has to be done from the bottom up. So we actually start from the bottom there and just get everything here. Because then it will also be moving up here. And just keep going up. Okay, so now everything is uh, green. That means it's everything is medium priority or sort of a little bit higher priority. Uh, did we? Oh, we go all the way back here so we can see everything. And I will, I will be taking some of this out once it gets going here. Once I get these three, uh, can I do that? No, I can't. I can just take them one by one. Boom. And now while we're building everything else, we have now completed this entirety of the new district. And the only thing we're missing is actually making it into a new district. So I've decided to build everything before making it into a district and as soon as I cut this now everything says it's not connected then we can go in and build a district crossing there that's kind of gonna have to be high priority good and then I can also now build a district building I'll build that right there mm, kind of blocking a little bit off of the stuff behind but uh, or I can build it there we'll build it here it doesn't really matter where it is but uh, I'll build it here good so this just oh it builds immediately then we can start this will be called lakeside there we go and i'm going to be uh, adding some people in here how many do we want well i think we want like 20 actually there 
Let's get 20 in here and then see how it works in Lakeside District. Let's see. Um, then in Lakeside District, we have 20 and we have 10 beds excess. We have uh, seven jobs not done. A district crossing is not done. And okay, we got the district crossing. Nice. Uh, don't think we want four here. So now we have six unemployed. So let's get a few more in here. One, two, three, four. 24 seems like a good number. And then we take a look at the... Oh, no, the, not that. Uh, we'll take a look at here. What is not being built? Uh, this one is, is unable to get all the required resources. Fermented soybeans, fermented mushrooms. That's because they're not built yet. But the three that are not working anything here, is, that's the three of these that shouldn't be there. And then everything else will be set to prioritized by haulers. And we just realized that we don't have a haulage location here. Uh, we probably... Oh, we do have a hauler. Okay, well, we need a four haulers at least. So we need to bring more people in here. One, two, three. Yeah, let's let's do that. And how many do we have inbound here? On the other side. Oh, right there. One, two. On this side. So now um, I am going to skip how to set up the... Uh, the districts because that's going to be a separate episode next time but we needed a district that had the demand in order for us to actually be able to send things back and forth that also means we can now start pausing the stuff back here all these things are going to be irrelevant now because we don't need them and we can also just decommission this farmstead as we want it that is completely decommissioned that's absolutely absurd to do it like that but uh, it is there it is and then i will also be okay that was maybe a bit rash I, that's all I, how i always do it uh, but i need more kohlrabi over here because why not and i have someone stranded and so the drought has ended we are making good progress here on uh, all this but we have to work inside this area and it does kind of makes me wonder whether i will be able to make and we'll just see this and then you'll hear the scream of anguish if this is not possible no 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 this is possible great oh man that's great Whew. okay so they can reach it from by standing down here they can reach up and through and build it so that is excellent because otherwise we'd be in trouble so basically if we look at it just like this we need one little floor here and we need this little uh, thing over here so it's not that much we're missing should be done soon enough so here we are, the final pieces, those four are coming in, each with two logs each, and that will build the last bit up here. And as that's done, then we just need them to get out safely, and then I will be taking out all of uh, this. Ooh, let's get, make sure that we get the right things out here. Uh, that is okay. This goes out, uh, because no one has anything to do in here. And yes, I will need to, the rubble will be a problem. And I will need to... Oof, this is going to be difficult, right? Here. No, not the levee. Okay, let's get this out. Come on, I can do this, right? There we go. Got it? Okay, so now the only thing missing at this point is... Build these here. And on the other side. There we go. Now, I have also prepared things up here for just... A little eventuality that I would uh, want to get up here. Oh, this is actually funny. I can't even get up here. And that's why I didn't even get started on this. I was kind of thinking it would get started on, uh, on building this part as well. Because what is this? Well, this is um, a, uh, a battery storage. That's going to be for the battery storage. And battery storage is basically batteries. Uh, gear gravity batteries. They'll be out here. And they can then just use this cliffside to just... Uh, yeah, store all of the good power that's being built in here. We can store that up in uh, this location. So uh, we'll also need to build just a little bit of uh, just piping or whatever we call it. There we go, like this. And get that one. And then we'll have you being up here. Now once we build this, then we can actually also store the power. Uh, let's have a look at our uh, this new district. This district is doing absolutely great. And it was just in the last second because I maybe you noticed in one of the, the little cut-ins, uh, I have it down to zero food, but that was right before this one came online. Uh, still something like the mangrove forest is not online, but it's coming online soon. The mushrooms are coming online. They have the first batch of mushrooms. So if we look at there, you can see here all of the different, the five different foods. They do not have, 
Oh, they do have mangrove foods. Okay. So that's definitely uh, some, some things that are oops, going on here. Uh, this is a nice little district. We also have power being produced here. It's quite rapidly, but that's going to be less of an issue as far as soon as we get up to, to this one here. Uh, let's get this one done and see how we uh, how it all works when it's all said and done. One more wheel, water wheel has been created. And now we also have these gravity batteries and they are hooked up to the overall power network. So that looks absolutely amazing. What you can see here is that it says that it's they have 1600 uh, horsepower hours. That's a measure of stored energy. And they this depends on how far they can drop. They can only drop one tile above it because it will drop down on the dynamite. dynamite but you can see a 16,000. If we just do this, then it's a little bit of a cheeky trick for the people who stuck around for this long. We now have 4,000 more on each because they can drop down. And you can continue to just dig deeper and deeper and then you get to the maximum. I don't know. I can't remember what the maximum. I think it's 24 or so, 28 or something. I don't know. But you can keep uh, putting, uh, making a deeper and deeper hole. But then uh, that will now mean that we have tons of power for the upcoming drought, which means that even, even though we are working on power here, let's get that one completely off. There we go. And you will also be paused as well. We are now getting more and more power coming from the water wheels themselves for the remainder until we get it. But that's also because one of the next things we want to do is actually going to consume a ton of power. Hey, we built another uh, water wheel. Let's uh, continue to build all of them. And so we have the final one built now. We have all eight of these wheels running and we have turned off all of the other power, all of the engine power, and now only use the water wheels. These water wheels are absolutely amazing. And they generate about 200 each, a little more than 200. Yeah, a little more than 200. So, and I don't know why they're sort of different, but they're kind of the same, 230, 220, uh, that around there. So that is about 2000 power from about this one. Well, 1200. Also, I really like the way that we have uh, integrated here. So that there is a clean, walkway just below that actually can work and service it if that should be needed uh, also on the other side so we can now easily get up to the top go out to either side we can move around it and we have our batteries here as well the irony is that just as we build it we will see it uh, stop working because well then now the drought is here but that's a uh, that's perfectly fine because we have uh, built up our gravity batteries we have our power store power here as well so we have everything we want to do we also have enough food we have 1000 food we have 1.5 water that should be fine uh, we have over 100 um, 100 adults and this colony is thriving so what are we going to do in the next episode well we are going to do a metal metalopolis a district out here to uh, to make uh, make use of all of this metal we have out here seems like it'd be like the a good place to build it so it's going to be a new district um, and then whatever else we uh, we come up with that we think would be nice. And there we have the drought. So now seven days of uh, none of this uh, going, no, no more of this power. We'll just switch on the other power and then we'll wrap up as we get into uh, to the drought. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a hell of an effort to uh, put this together, but I hope you uh, appreciate it and hope you enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care. And as always, stay effective.